Okay, here's our next video that will help us to take the derivative of the other four trig functions. So in previous lessons, we've established the two basic derivatives, that the derivative of sine x is equal to cos x, and the derivative of cos x is equal to negative sine x. So what I'd like to do is kind of come up with a derivative for tan x and cosecant x, and then you can follow the procedure yourself or do it in, look at the note, and it will show you the derivative of the other uh, trig functions, and then I've got a summary down here. So let's start with tan x, and we're going to use these two derivatives and identities to come up with that derivative for tan x. So tan x can be expressed in terms of sine and cosine this way. Tan x, according to identities, is equal to sine x over cos x. And now that we have that, we can use these two identities, or these two derivatives up here, to take the derivative of this expression. So y prime is equal to the denominator, cos x, times the derivative of the numerator, cos x, minus the numerator, sine x, times the derivative of the denominator, negative sine x, all over the denominator squared. Simplifying that, cos x times cos x, cos squared x, negative sine x times negative sine x, plus sine squared x, all over cos squared x. Well, cos squared x plus sine squared x is one of the famous Pythagorean theorem identities, and it's equal to 1. So now we have y prime equaling 1 over cos squared x. Well, that's the same as um, 1 over cos x all squared, and 1 over cos x is equal to secant x. So we have secant x, secant squared x, y prime is equal to secant squared x. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. Now when we take a look at cosecant x, we'll follow a similar procedure. So let's use an identity to replace cosecant x as 1 over sine x. So y is equal to sine of x to the exponent, negative 1. Now we can use the chain rule on that and take its derivative. So I'll do it up here. y prime is equal to negative 1 sine of x to the minus 2 times the derivative of what's inside the brackets. And the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So y prime equals negative 1 cos x in the numerator all over sine squared x in the denominator. Let's reorganize that a little bit. We have the negative 1. We're going to have um, times 1 over sine x times cos x over sine x. So we express it this way so we can recognize these as um, other uh, trig ratios y prime equals negative, 1 over sine x is cosecant x, cos x over sine x is cotangent x. So the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. So let's take a look at this summary. In this summary we show all the derivatives. This one we did by first principles. And all of these other ones we establish through identities. So you're responsible not so much to be able to show me this one, but to say, I know how I can use identities to find the derivative of cos x, tan x, cosecan x, secan x, and cotangent x. I'm going to leave this page up here as I work through some other questions. Here's the next one. Let's see if we can practice, put into practice these derivatives here. So y equals secant x, secant x, the derivative of secant x is just secant x tan x. So y prime equals secant x tan x. The argument in the question is the argument in the answer. We don't change it unless we use identities. Here the argument is complicated, so we'll have to add an extra step to it.
y prime equals the derivative of secant, as we've just seen, is secant tangent. And the argument in the question is the argument in the derivative. Then we have to multiply by the derivative of the argument, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. So we simplify that by putting what I call the algebra in front. 2x goes in front, secant x squared tan x squared. Here's another one with a complicated argument. y prime equals, what's the derivative of cotangent? The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So it's negative cosecant squared. The argument in the question is the argument in the derivative times the derivative of the argument 12x squared. So y prime equals negative 12x squared times, oops, times cosecant squared for x cubed plus 3. Here's an opportunity to use the product rule. We have first and second. So y prime equals first x squared times the derivative of the second. The derivative of tan x is secant squared. Argument in the question, argument in the derivative times the derivative of the argument. So first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Derivative of x squared is 2x. So y prime equals 5x squared, secant squared 5x, plus 2x, tan 5x. From that, we can common factor out an x, and then you're left with 5x, secant squared 5x, plus 2, tan 5x. And that's as far as you can go with that one. Let's take a look at this one. y prime equals the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. The argument doesn't change times the derivative of the argument. So remember, the derivative of the argument. Putting the algebra in front, we have negative 2x plus 3 times cosecant squared x squared plus 3x. The next one I wanted to show you is actually one right from the note, so you can see it there, hopefully. But I wanted to show you that this is a complicated question that involves a product in the numerator and then a quotient uh, rule, so that would be a tough question to do. What we want to do is before we take its derivative, we want to see if we can um, use identities to simplify. So y equals x squared sine x over cos x. That's what tangent is equal to, all over 1 over cos x. So when we have this double-decker fractions, we want to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it upside down and multiply by the reciprocal and I get cos x over 1. And the value of that I hope you can see is that now you can cancel these. So this expression really gets simplified down to y equals x squared sine x. So I would expect you to identify the fact that this can be simplified using trig identities and then do so. So here's the derivative using the product rule. y prime equals first x squared times the derivative of the second plus the second sine x times the derivative of the first. So y prime equals x squared cos x plus 2x sine x. y prime equals common factor of an x, x cos x plus 2 sine x. Two more boards. Here's the next one right here. This question is right from the note. It says find the equation of the tangent line for y equals 2x at x equals pi over 6. So we have a value of x 
we need to find the value of y, we need to find the slope of the tangent line by taking the derivative, and then we're going to find the equation of the tangent line. So let's start by finding the derivative. y prime equals secant squared 2x times 2. So y prime equals 2 secant squared 2x. At x equals 6, what's the value of y? y is going to be equal to the tangent of 2 times pi over 6. So y is equal to the tangent, simplifying that, of pi over 3. Well, look at your special angle triangle. 2, 1, root 3. And here's pi over 3. The tangent of pi over 3 is going to be opposite over adjacent. So y is equal to root 3. So we have an ordered pair of pi over 6, comma, root 3 for y. That's the ordered pair. In blue over here, we'll calculate the value of the derivative at pi over 6. So at x equals pi over 6, y prime equals 2 secant squared 2 times pi over 6. So y prime equals 2 secant squared pi over 3. Looking at the special angle triangle, we can see that um, the secant of pi over 3 is the reciprocal of the cos of pi over 3. So the cos of pi over 3 would be uh, 1 over 2 adjacent over hypotenuse. So secant will be hypotenuse over adjacent. So y prime equals 2 times the secant of pi over 3 we just decided was 2 and we want to square it. So y prime equals 8. Let's use these two facts and let's find the equation of the tangent line by substituting those values into this formula. y minus y1 equals m onto x minus x1. y minus root 3 equals 8 onto x minus pi over 6. y minus root 3 equals 8x minus uh, 4 pi over 3. So y equals 8x minus 4 pi over 3 plus root 3. That's the equation of the tangent line at x equals pi over 6 for the function y equals tan 2x. The last board is one that involves implicit differentiation, a slight variation, I think, on the question that's in the note. So uh, what's the derivative of cotangent? The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So negative cosecant squared, argument in the question, argument in the derivative times the derivative of the argument. Derivative of 4x squared is 8x equals secant. The derivative of secant is secant x tan x. So the derivative of secant 3y will be secant 3y tan 3y. Then we need to multiply by the derivative of the argument. And the derivative of 3y is 3 times, and the derivative of 3y with respect to x, we have to multiply by dy over dx. So we have negative 8x cosecant squared 4x squared equals 3 secant 3y tan 3y dy over dx. So dividing we get this, negative 8x cosecant squared, 4x squared, all over 3, secant 3y, tan 3y, and that's what dy over dx equals. In the note, there's a list of homework questions, and that's going to be due for Monday.